Hey guys, so I wanted to pop on here and do just a quick Chris Watts um, update video. So um, for those that don't know, Chris Watts um, is a convicted murderer. Back in 2018, he ended up strangling his wife, Shanann, and he ended up smothering his two little girls, Bella and Cece. And he ended up putting them in oil tanks where he worked. He worked like for an oil company. Um, so yeah, horrific case. Um, but Chris has been interviewed numerous times and his story always changes. So recently, um, <clears throat> a guy named Dylan Tallman, who was, um, he was in prison with Chris at Dodge Correctional Facility in Wisconsin. He was in the cell next to him and got to know him and became friends with him. And they had things in common, like they're both religious, um, and they kind of bonded over that. Well, Dylan has written a series of books. Um, I believe there are three different books and they're kind of shorter books. So like they're each like 20 something pages, something like that. So I just finished the first book and I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on it, um, and see what you guys thought. Um, so if you're familiar with this case, you know that Chris has changed his story numerous times. Um, you know, first he had said like Shanann had killed the girls, um, and so he killed her, um, you know, because she did that to the girls. His second one, his second confession was that he killed them all, um, basically to be with his mistress, Nicole. Um, but this next, uh, you know, the things I learned from the book, um, is a totally different story. So, um, basically Dylan's first book is all about him meeting Chris and how they kind of bonded over religion. Um, but towards the end of the first book, um, Dylan said that, you know, he would talk to Chris about his case and that sort of thing. And, um, like he had told Dylan, he had, Chris had told Dylan that, um, he actually killed Shanann because she was holding a knife, like, cause he had obviously like told her about the affair and, she had supposedly gotten a knife and Chris killed her in self-defense is basically what he's claiming in this book, which I don't know if I believe. I mean, Chris has just changed the story so many times. Um, it's kind of hard to believe. I am, a, for those that have followed this case closely, there's always been speculation that the mistress was involved in the murders. I am one that firmly believes that she was there. Um, in the footage of the video, like, that morning where, you know, Chris is supposedly loading the bodies up and stuff in his truck. Um, you do see a woman in their driveway. So I firmly believe that Nicole was there. She either helped with like the cleanup or like cover story, or I think she was actually involved in the murder. So, um, you know, everyone is different in terms of what they believe, but, um, yeah, like there's always been speculation that she was involved in some way. So, but that's kind of the gist of what I got from the first book. I do plan to read the next two. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to read part two next. Um, cause it sounds like Dylan was trying to get him to talk more about like what happened with the kids next. So I'll see where that lands, but, um, just wanted to see what you guys thought with, you know, Dylan's books that came out and just kind of what your thoughts are and, what are your thoughts on the mistress? Do you think that she did help, didn't help? Um, just kind of curious what everyone's thoughts are out there. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye.